fridge longer than it it should have been but I just looked at a quick video online and this is not supposed to push back I guess but um, yeah the ovens heating up or it's already preheated with this new metal pizza stone and again this is just a store bought pre-made pizza dough so let me put some flour down here just went ahead and put it on the peel real quick and I've got the cornmeal underneath so I know you're not supposed to overdo it with the, with the sauce so I just have some jarred sauce here it's specifically supposed to be pizza sauce and let's put some on here that already looks good sauce looks a lot better than I thought it was going to look. Mystery now because 
as much as I messed up with the, the dough in the oven uh, and the fridge for four days, you can make your own dough. That was store-bought dough. Simple ingredients, the cheese, the pepperoni. I wanted to put anchovies on this one, but yeah, I was surprised because I thought I I got this pretty thin on the on the middle. But it ended up with this big piece. But I tell you, it's delicious. I love the thick outside crust. That's why I like Sal's pizza. But bad news for Sal's. I can make it at home. And it's hot. I know what's in it. stress enough them this pizza is just so much better than than the pizza of the sub places get some of those uh, those roasted peppers or maybe make my own roasted red peppers put roasted peppers on this caramelized 
sliced onions, broccoli. I've never had broccoli, I don't think, on a pizza. Thanks if you want to stop and buy. Uh, although it wasn't a complete disaster, had some rough spots there. Always have to remember to turn that camera on or double check audio and video. But wow, that's uh, that metal plate is perfect. Uh, I don't know how the stones work, but from what I've seen in pictures, they crack a lot, and people complain about odors coming from them. I don't know if you need the half inch, you know, the quarter inch might be just good enough, but yeah, my head's racing with all the possibilities of the pizzas I'm going to make at home now. I don't see myself ordering any takeout pizzas. So uh, once I figure out how to make my own dough, and uh, yeah, that's an art form, uh, getting that, that dough uh, shape the thin with the outside edges just right. You can't do that sitting down. And uh, I'll get better as I, as I go on. But yeah, that was my first. I've had, my mom used to make the pan, like Sicilian style pizza in a pan. That was, and um, that was like, like I said, you saw the results. You can't get any fresher than that and you know what you're putting into it. Well. Thanks again, everyone, for stopping by. Thanks to all my PayPal contributors. Uh, thanks for using the Amazon affiliate link in the description to get you over to Amazon to make any of your purchases, and especially your holiday purchases this year. Really appreciate that. And thank you for your comments. And, uh, you know, give, give it a try. You don't, I bought one of those pans also that you can just put in the oven. I want to see how good that is. It has holes in it to vent moisture. So it's still supposed to get a brown, browning uh, action on the bottom of the crust. So you don't necessarily have to have some fancy uh, metal plate like that. Um, pizza, metal pizza stone. So thanks again, everyone. And until next video, might be another pizza video. Thanks for watching.